What's good? What's revving? It's Godspeed of Laugh Now, Ride Later. On the scene on your screen with an explanation of where I've been, what I've been going through, and what I've been up to. Stay tuned for more. Let's get into this video. Hello, how's everybody doing? You know, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. All of my subscribers, everyone that just might be stopping through and stopping by my channel to view this video. In particular, I just want to thank you all. Now, I want to start off by saying depression is a real thing. It really happens. It, could, it seems like it could sneak up on you. Anybody, it can happen to man, woman, uh, boy, girl, child, you know, depression is a real thing and it happens to everybody. No matter your religion, no matter what you, uh, what type of lifestyle you live, you know, if you a thug, you know, it, you know, anybody, anybody in general, it can happen to. And, uh, depression is real. And I say that because, um, over the last month and a half to two months I've been going through a lot of uh, personal things you know not not a lot but just um a couple of big personal things that, that have been stressful on me starting with starting with the end of uh, the end of April I think in early May I ended up um, finding out that you know my mom who's really close to me and I love a lot had a situation, a health risk situation, and I ended up, I ended up having to take her to the doctors for that, and, uh, you know, not to dig too deep into her business, but we got it knocked out, you know, we caught it in time to where it was not really, not really going to be a significant danger to her, had we not caught it at that time, it could have grown into something bigger, so that was, um, the initial, uh, thing that started off my kind of like small cycle of depression. Secondly, uh, into early June, um, early June, late May, I got into a fender bender and I was stressed out over that because, you know, my driving record isn't the best and I didn't want to put any more strain on me and my wife's insurance, you know, and I didn't want that to 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 reflect badly on me or her, but you know it did, and it is what it is. Then um, June seventh came, and uh, Friday, June seventh was just like any other Friday. You know, it was fun, but uh, what happened that Friday? Annapolis, in the world for that matter, really lost a a good spirit and a good soul and uh and Trey the kid and uh Trey and I we weren't like the best of friends of any or anything like that but we were good acquaintances and I actually uh saw him two hours before he lost his life and the last thing he said to me was it's always a pleasure and that stuck with me even before I found out that he did lose his life I was later because it just, it was so genuine. And that's the type of person he was. He was genuine. And he loved everything. He loved life and he loved people. He liked being a a, a person of the people. Trey was a, a rapper, the, the most prominent rapper, the most aspiring rapper out of Annapolis, Maryland. Probably out of the DMV, period. You know, we're just gonna take it there right now. He was he was good like that. Um so after uh losing Trey, the kid, you know, I kinda went in a cycle of depression, kinda thinking, you know, was it anything I could say to him to kinda uh to to let him know that I saw what he was doing and that I appreciated and respected him as a person and what he was doing. And I did say, you know, um, Trey, I see you doing big things on Instagram. But I feel like I could have said more. And I'm not trying to make this all about me. It's just I want to say that 
um, that sent me on a cycle of depression. And I want to say not only is depression real, but when you see people, don't hesitate to tell them that you love them, that you care about them, and that you're proud of them. So that's that's the big thing I want you to take away from this. Um, moving on, found out that my wife also has some health complications, and uh, that that really, you know, if I'm if I'm honest, that really hit me kind of hard. But that hit me in a different way because you know, with my mom and with the accidents, and even with Montre passing, you know. I could live that out loud, you know, every frustration that I have with that every day. But, you know, in front of your wife, you kind of, as a man, you kind of just feel like you have to act, you know, macho and and just stomach everything. But it, it, it's hard, you know. But, again, it's not about me. It's about her and about her health. And, you know, with that, I just like to say I'm pressing through it, you know, praying through it and and trying to be there for her and be the husband that, that God ordained me to be. Uh, I made a conscious decision that I'm really going to try to put my best foot forward in this YouTube career of mine and make videos on or around the 15th of every month at least to start out one a month um, on around the 15th on that Friday um, on or after the 15th. So it's not like I've been gone, I've been missing, I've been MIA not uh, doing anything. I've been MIA getting a lot of stress put on me <laughs> and just trying to deal with that. But I reached out to my brother Money Mark. And he he actually um, talked me through the whole thing with um, Montre being taken away from us. And uh, even um, with that, I just like to leave you. You know, God bless the riders. I'm down five up. Right out. Peace.